Oman survives by tapping fresh water. But suppose you could make it from thin air. Water, water everywhere, and all of it useless. We're short of water on this planet. Yet we've got an abundance of water out here at sea. The only problem is it's too salty, and we've got to convert it from salt water into fresh water. Charlie Patton invented a radical way to do it. Oil-rich Abu Dhabi can afford to guzzle gas, but not nations as poor as they are dry. There must be a better way. And it came to Charlie Patton like a dream. I got the idea when I was traveling on a bus going across a desert in Morocco, and it was raining outside. I'd rolled up a towel to make into a pillow, and I was sleeping. When I woke up, there was enough condensation in the pillow for me to wring it out and get a cup full of water. Well, that condensation is pure fresh water that has come out of the air. And it's probably water that's evaporated off the sea somewhere else. Nature was doing the power plant's job, turning seawater into fresh vapor with no fossil fuels. If Charlie could collect the vapor, he could make water from thin air for next to nothing. The key lay 4,000 miles away in the Garden of Eden. In a nation famed for gardening, Charlie met with the architect of a 21st century greenhouse, the Eden Project. We've turned what could be an ordinary greenhouse into an absolutely fantastic and exciting greenhouse, a really bold and big thing. The Eden Project is the size of 35 soccer fields the largest scaffolding structure on the planet. A building designed to trap heat held the secret to making water and fulfilling Charlie's dream. We heard about Charlie's idea of how to create water out of thin air. And we thought there was a great opportunity to, to work with Charlie and take that ingenious idea and turn it into a really bold and exciting piece of architecture, as we have done here at Eden. What they came up with is a building that could change the world. This is the desalination plant of today, soon to become the plant of yesterday, to be replaced by this. The Teatro del Agua, the desalination plant of tomorrow. Designed to create water from thin air, it takes modern architecture to another dimension. The water theater will revolutionize the way we make fresh water. Greenhouses in northern climates work because they trap heat within the building. The water theater works on a slightly different principle because we're recreating the natural water cycle where sunlight shines on the sea Seawater evaporates up into the sky, forms clouds, and turns into rain and comes back as fresh water. To recreate the natural cycle and make water from thin air, first a series of plastic pipes is cooled by pumping icy seawater through them. This seawater is then sprayed onto an absorbent mesh surface. As warm sea air passes through the mesh, the seawater turns to vapor, leaving its salt behind. 
The sea breeze then carries the vapor back to the cooled pipes where the water condenses, forming droplets of fresh water. Finally, the fresh water is collected in a tray, ready for use. Unlike typical desalination plants, the Teatro del Agua needs no fuel. It harnesses the natural forces of sea, sun, and wind. Result? An unending supply of fresh water and a spectacular backdrop for an open-air theater. The water theater would create enough water for a city. So as well as being a fantastic place to go and experience outdoor concerts and so on, it's doing something very useful. It's creating huge amounts of fresh water from seawater. The Eden Project has transformed the greenhouse. This project could transform the globe. I think we are going to see more and more examples of this kind of technology around the world and hopefully celebrated in all sorts of architectural forms. It's performing a very useful function, it's creating water, but there are other opportunities as well to create fantastic public buildings, to create exciting architecture that engages people. The water theatre could be used, could be implemented on any scale in places where it's hot and sunny and where there isn't sufficient fresh water. This project has the potential to change the world. Your life in the 21st century. High tech, sophisticated, but still dependent on the basic eternal necessities of life. Food, shelter, energy, and above all, water. You can live weeks without food, but just days without water. In a place like this, just hours. Mankind's entire history springs from water. Civilization arose around bodies of water. The world's great cities spring from great rivers. Yet what other element is so taken for granted? Most of us don't realize how precious water is. You can't do anything without water. So we need to find more ways of providing fresh water for humanity and for the environment. We need to think of using water much more sparingly and more ingeniously. We must find solutions to it, because solutions to, to water also solve the problems of the planet.